Earthbed. Hello, nature enthusiasts. Welcome back to Earthpen. Today, we're stepping into the intricate world of ecological relationships. In the natural world, species seldom exist in isolation. They form complex connections with other species, shaping ecosystems in unique ways. Join me as we explore the science of ecological relationships, uncovering the various ways organisms interact with each other and the impact these interactions have on the environment. Introduction to Ecological Relationships Let's begin with the basics. Ecological relationships are interactions between different species in an ecosystem. These interactions can be beneficial, harmful, or neutral, and they often define the roles and niches of species within an ecosystem. Predation One of the most well-known ecological relationships is predation. This is when one organism, the predator, hunts and consumes another organism, the prey. Predation is a crucial mechanism for regulating population sizes in ecosystems. Mutualism, on the flip side, mutualism is a relationship where both species benefit. It's a win-win scenario. For example, the relationship between bees and flowers, where bees pollinate flowers while obtaining nectar, is a classic example of mutualism. Commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship where one species benefits, and the other is neither helped nor harmed. An example is barnacles attaching themselves to the shells of turtles. Gaining a free ride through the ocean. Parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship where one species, the parasite, benefits at the expense of the other, the host. Parasites can be external, like ticks, or internal, like tapeworms, and they often cause harm to the host. Competition. Competition is a fundamental ecological relationship where two or more species vie for the same resources, such as food, water, or territory. This competition can be intense and shape the distribution and abundance of species. Symbiotic relationships. Some ecological relationships are more specialized and long-term, leading to symbiotic relationships. These include mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Symbiotic relationships often involve coevolution, where species evolve together in response to each other's presence. Keystone species. Certain species play critical roles in ecosystems. They are known as keystone species. Their presence or absence can have a disproportionate impact on the entire ecosystem. For example, sea otters help maintain kelp forests by controlling sea urchin populations. Human impact. Human activities can disrupt ecological relationships. Habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change can lead to imbalances in ecosystems, affecting the survival of species and biodiversity. Conservation. Conservation efforts are vital to protect ecological relationships and the health of our planet. Preserving natural habitats, restoring ecosystems, and practicing sustainable resource management are essential steps in conserving biodiversity. In conclusion, ecological relationships are the intricate threads that weave the fabric of life on our planet. They highlight the interconnectedness of all species and emphasize the importance of maintaining the delicate balance of nature. Thanks for joining us today on Earth Pen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or experiences with ecological relationships in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our natural world. This is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere.